Hi right, guys, it's your boy Daddy Boy. I know I haven't dropped a video in a why reaction video. Um, more, I'm gonna drop a video of why I haven't been dropping videos, but this is another reaction video. Let's get back to this 90 Day, Fia 90 Day Fiance reaction. <laughs> Oh, he's up. I, I, Michael, I'm just calling to let you know you're a idiot and you're a joke. Right now, I'm not wanting to be married to you at this moment. And you're not for me. Listen, I should have left you when I went over there and your penis wasn't what you said it was. Oh then when you cussed me. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I... Shut up for a minute. Shut up. OK, when you shut up, I'll call back. Are you going to shut up? This is my call. OK, goodbye. We're done. Sheesh. <laughs> Remember, last we left off, these grandmas were wilding out here. Angela dropped like 10, 15 racks for weight loss surgery, plus complimentary booby reduction. Oranges are different yeah. from watermelon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's thinking about facelift, hair transplant, Botox, nose job, pretty much the old standard Darcy monthly Shazam. Cool. Do you? Yo, so I saw like one funny ass kid, bro. But all of this for what? Absolutely nothing. Like I said, uh, no amount of procedure is gonna fix 40 to 50 years of Coca-Cola and packs of Newports. Well, whatever. <laughs> Not my problem. But it is young Michelangelo's problem, and he's having a problem uh, with that problem. See, young Mike trying to start a family. Uh, not too sure if that's part of the whole visa scam or, or whatnot. But but in short, a uh, grandma's reproductive system, uh, sketchy at best. I mean, man's gonna have to decode the whole reproduction of 93 Jurassic Park just to get some some popping. Cause let's be real, uh, Angie darn near fossil at this point. <laughs> now for obvious reason, uh, baby fertility procedures are oh, gonna cost a pretty penny. And grandma decided to use all them pennies on herself. <laughs> Thus here we are, where we're Angie and Mike are broken up. We all know she ain't giving up on that young boo. That young BBC. A few days ago, me and Michael had a huge fight and we broke up and we haven't spoke since. <laughs> What do you want to discuss? You block me every day. You are just talking to, 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 to. That's rude. I'm his wife. Are you done talking? No, I'm not. And I'll say what the want to say. I'm an American. <laughs> Land of the <laughs> free. What the hell? La, 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 la. Same over and over. Not for yourself. No, yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> And I am an American too, and I'm embarrassed. This lady's a menace. Really? IMO, in my opinion, the only person on this screen who could proudly say, I'm an American, is young Michelangelo. Like I stated before, a uh, man done near an American war veteran, first ballot all American AAU team, done near an American Olympian. He's all of that and more. Like when you think of the uh, old time American greats, Michael Phelps, Michael Jordan, Jackson, Mike Tyson, go ahead and just throw in this Michael <laughs> and give me that starting five. Uh, call it a Mount Rushmore. I mean, this woman really sat there w with a straight face and called this king rude for standing up for himself. Can you believe he said that? That's rude. I'm his wife. That's, that's crazy. The amount of doo doo this man takes on a day to day basis for the smidgy chance of uh, being an American, you might as well call this man an American porta potty. I'm an American. Land of the f free. Like if words were bullets, are uh, shooting this man with choppers on choppers on choppers. Hung, 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 hung. Like at this point, uh, you gonna need a gypsy genie. That's crazy. Voodoo dark magician Chinese fortune cookie just to fix all this BS. And ironically, uh, that's exactly what happened. Hey, hey, Boog, that's too much. Matter of fact, let's go. I got an important phone call to do, y'all. It's been over two weeks since me and Michael broke up. I'm still really upset with him, but deep in my heart, I really want to mend things with him. So I talked to my psychic about what's been going on with Michael, and she suggested that we do a reading with him. Yeah, that's great and all, but, but you don't need 500 tarot cards and 30 crystal ball to see what the hell's going on around here. Heck, I'll do a reading for you right now. Uh, abracadabra, you're an abuser. Price is right. <laughs> Now on jokes aside, they, they, they went ahead with the whole crystal ball reading Mojo Jojo BS via three-way Skype call with Michael. Ask the cards a question. Stop. That's Angela. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> 
and look, I'm not one to disregard somebody's gifts. I'm, I'm sure there's legit people out there. She, she's not one of them. Like at one point, she skipped the whole ritual BS and went straight to picking up random pre-selected cards she selected and started talking gibberish. I picked this card for you. You are both going on different paths. For some reason, I just got this card. I needed to pull this card, yeah? But this card is saying to me, something is not right here. And the worst part is, uh, Angela was eating this up. <laughs> like a free buffet. Started feeling herself too. You do nothing but eat, sleep, and there's plenty of men over here that would love me and take me and accept me like I am. And Grandma, you right. Uh, here's the picture of the line of men I took waiting outside. I mean, if it is, then why you find somebody over in Africa? Doesn't make sense. Angela's house, camping 24-7, wait, waiting for her approval as we speak. Hippie parade. Nobody. Like, this totally explains why, why you were halfway across the world and nowhere in Nigeria picking up young Michelangelo. For, for what? <laughs> And as for you, man, lay off the shrooms, put, put down the Ouija board, grab some popcorn, because I know you're getting all this info, watching all the episodes like the rest of us. I'm ready for me and Michael to officially make up. What the hell? I just... <laughs> <laughs> this is our date night. <laughs> I just want to blow his oh, bubble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, 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 me neither. Uh, TLC, what the f are we watching? For real, TLC. <laughs> like, when did this show become phub.com? I, I got kids watching I TLC. Know. Kids. Think about the kids. Jesus. I got my one year daughter watching it with me. But all of that aside, uh, first and foremost, uh, sorry to the kids. Second and foremost, uh, sorry to myself. Like, why do I watch this show? And third and last, the, the cameraman. Like, the things he must have seen? God's being on your recovery. Let me know the Eddie and I'll, I'll send you some flowers. But the real concern is wh where the hell is OSHA? I is this even legal? Like, this gotta be endangerment. Uh, th this is dangerous for the workers. Like, you gotta be breaking all type of labor laws. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Well, whatever. <laughs> Not my problem. But it is young Michelangelo's prom, uh, cause this is like the first time he's seen the full rebuilt package. Michael hasn't even seen my body yet. It's safe to say, a uh, buddy was less than enthusiastic. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's right. I'd feel the same way, uh, before and after. <laughs> let's let's be clear. But the good news is, you know, they, they made up. He, he didn't get cussed out, and I guess they had a good time, cause young Mike ended up doing what all men do. <laughs> Brag to the boys. Let me tell you. It's time to help people customize and save with Liberty Mutual. You should have known. Something now. Yeah. We had a romantic video call conversation, yeah. no? Mm. <laughs> it was awesome. She was inside the tube, naked, with candles. <laughs> <laughs> Angela naked in the bedroom, ha, huh. that doesn't seem sexy to me. Uh, not at all. No, not at all. So, wait, wait. If Angela can spend money to get slimmer, can't she spend money to have a child? That's a darn good question, buddy. Now, the reason why this is a topic of importance is because in Nigeria, like a lot of other cultures, having a child, you know, spreading your own seeds, having your own baby dragons is a man's pride and purpose. The pride of every man is having his own, his own child and this was essentially a part of the marriage agreement on michael's side of family except grandma has been doing everything but holding up that part of the agreement you know i told michael at the beginning i would do anything possible to try to have a baby and i felt like i've done that i'm just over the baby thing now we all know her microwave oven ain't working so to even consider uh, having a baby they would have to go through the old jurassic park dinosaur reincarnation process and to be honest a uh, grandma wants no part of that I want to go to this clinic to find out what all the reasons this won't work and it could be over about the babies. So to fool Michael into believing that she's at least trying to have a baby, Grandma makes a small visit to the nearest fertility doctor for quote unquote advisory. Honest to God, I never thought about it, but if Skylar donated her egg and I toted the baby, I would be the mama and the mima of this child and Skylar would be the mama and the sister. Jesus now this is some creep show. <laughs> so, um, Dr. Gator, how much does that cost? Easily cost you 
over a hundred thousand dollars for just Jeez. the medical cost of it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is right, a <laughs> hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> But uh, maybe you should have thought of that before you married the one Nigerian dude that wanted to have a baby. Because bet me at Starbucks, she kind of knew this from the jump. Grandma don't want no kids. Her grandkids are going to be older than so-and-so kid. Now this is some creep show. The only thing she ever wanted was the one dude on planet Earth, Venus, and Mars that, that wanted her. Hashtag uh, selfish. Now that brings us full circle and, and all the way into the Tello, where we find out Grandma has been having sneaky linkies. Now, Angela, have you only seen Dr. Obang at the office? I don't know. I went to his birthday party. You were never alone with Dr. Obang. What the hell? Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Why did you tell me this before? I'm trying to tell you now. You know that this, this Shut you know that your mouth. Happened, this thing happened uh. to me. But you would now, you just oh, you not say done it, buddy. That's how they are. No, don't tell me you done it, buddy. You're an ass, Michael. I bet you it was the other way around. She be going way crazier than Michael, though. Yeah, you booty hole, Michael. Because Lord knows if you did anything remotely, remotely similar. Ooh. Bo yeah. would have been crucified, uh, cussed okay. out to the brim. Like I just said. Ucha Maratai beatings. Probably the worst of the worst. Be begging for forgiveness, only to probably end up on a milk carn. Yeah, here grandma is, uh, halfway across the world with Dr. Obang. Probably obanging it out, <laughs> to be honest. Are you kidding me? I wish I was, Michael. I, I wish I was. Anyway, so to calm her down, they, they brought out Aunt Lydia, who probably did everything in her power, but that. You've seen Angela's new look. What do you think about it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm, a new look is okay. I wasn't pleased with it. Who gets You're not his wife. Are you screwing him? What the hell? What are you talking? What you are doing? Because talking, listen to what she's saying. You are not listen you to what, what she's saying. That of respect for you your husband. Get, I respect no, I you. Respect you better husband. respect that me. That okay. is my f***ing husband. Tell this? my husband what to do. <laughs> these friends. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. Somebody stop this woman. She is out of control. Look, Mike. I pretty much told you last episode what you probably needed to do. You probably needed to get the f out of it. This episode, she disrespected you. She disrespected your family. She even admitted she don't even want your kids. That's, that's three strikes, Mike. That's a, that's a, I gotta get the F out of it ASAP. <laughs> but knowing you, knowing Mike, he gonna be here next season. <laughs> Boy gonna be here. He gotta get to America somehow. <laughs> but hey, what do you know? I'm just sipping like One rapper, two rapper, three rapper, four All these bodies in my closet I know That most of my favorite rappers wasn't spitting like me at the age and Alright guys, that'll be it for today's videos Make sure you stay tuned More reaction videos dropping soon Peace